today I want to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is the 131 half court defense. Um, I don't refer to this as a 131 zone because um, I think a lot of kids, when they hear the word zone, they think, you know, I'm going to stand there with my arms up. I might move a little bit, but, you know, I'm basically just standing there clogging up the lane and letting teams shoot threes. And the way that uh, we run our 131 is very aggressive. Kids are flying around. We're, we're trying to cause turnovers, get deflections, take teams out of what they like to do. Um, I'm going to show you the the base defense with some traps and possibly some adjustments. Um, I'll go over all five positions, what they are required to do, and the types of players that you need at each position. And then we'll show a bunch of clips um, from the past couple seasons. Um, I'm known sort of as a 1-3-1 guy. People that know me know that uh, a lot of the teams that I've coached will run this either as their base defense or as something more of a change-up. Um, two years ago, with a team that won, I believe, 16 games, I'm going to say I think we ran 1-3-1 one, one, about 75% um, of our half-court possessions. And you can also press out of this. Um, I might have a couple of those clips as well. Um, so first thing, let's, uh, let's start off with just sort of the base alignment. So we'll start here at the top. Your, your top player here, X3, uh, good if you have some length, athleticism. I think this is probably your best athlete. Um, sometimes it's your best player, sometimes not. Um, it helps a lot if that player is able to get a run out and a steal and a layup. Um, you know, so putting someone there that has no ball handling skills can, I think, be detrimental to the defense because you want this player, because we want to score out of this. So we want this player to get run out layups, and you'll see some of these. But length, anticipation, um, a good motor, uh, that's, that's key for this player. Both of your wings, that's X4 and X2. A good, again, length helps. Size matters in the 131. If you have length or jumping ability, that definitely helps. Um, it's, it, it's, it's, it's good if they can pressure the ball, get deflections, and rebound. Um, if you have one big wing and one small wing, typically you want to put your smaller wing on the right side of the floor because most of the time teams will shoot from the right side and rebounds are going to be on the left. So X4 needs to be the better rebounder of the two. Um, your middle player, X5, is usually your post player, but not always. I've put uh, hard-nosed guards in that position. Um, having some speed helps, and you'll see why. Uh, but you just got to have a big heart and be tough. If you're an undersized kid, but you're tough as nails, you can be a good middle player because um, this player has a lot of responsibilities as well. And finally, X1, we call the warrior, and we call this player the warrior because they have the job of covering baseline to baseline. Um, this kid, again, needs to have a big motor, can't be lazy, and has to want to do this job. Um, it's it's very hard to talk a player into wanting to be the warrior. Um, if you have a small, fast player, uh, like a small point guard, usually it's a good spot for the warrior uh, because this player needs to cover a lot of ground, needs to be smart, and is kind of like the quarterback of this defense. Um, to have a good 1-3-1, one, one, you have to have a good spine, and the spine is your top, middle, and warrior. These players all have to be really good at what they do. To have a great 1-3-1, one, one, you have to have a good spine and two good wings. If you have all that together, then you have the, the possibility of just wreaking havoc on defense or on, on offenses, which is what we want to do. This is not a soft zone where we just kind of sit back. Sometimes we play it that way when we shouldn't. But this is not a soft zone. This is a zone, um, this is a defense where we are attacking. Um, and, you'll, and you'll see a lot of examples of that. Um, so let's talk about the roles of, of each position. We'll start with the top player. When we're just running our base defense, X3's job is to make ball reversal from 1 to 2 as slow as possible. Prevent this if possible. Make it a lob or a bounce pass. One of the key rules in the one three one is we do not want to allow direct passes. Direct passes can really hurt the defense. Two direct passes means an open three. So any anytime I see teams lobbing the ball or throwing bounce passes, I smile because I know that you know we're 
we're doing our job here. Um, sometimes this player will trap. Sometimes this player was this player will pressure the ball. But primarily, we're looking at slowing down ball reversal. The wings, when the ball is on your side, this wing's job is to pressure the heck out of the ball. Now, if you notice on this diagram here, on this pass, X2 does not run straight out in a straight line because even bad players can catch this and throw it one more to the corner. So we come out, out and up, like a banana cut. It's out and up to slow this next pass down if we have to. When one wing is up, the other wing is down. You see X4 is now guarding the low block in case, you know, there's someone down here posting up or three would slide over. Four has to cover this. Five's rule is they are always between the ball and the basket and trying to front in the high post whenever they can. So in this diagram here, you see I have X5 going underneath, which is fine. If this player is fast enough to go over top, that's fine. But what you don't want to have happen in this situation is to five is for five to get caught on the high side here because then one more pass to the corner and then we could we could be in trouble so five is trying to front staying between the ball and the basket our warrior our warrior is covering the is covering the baseline is, and is usually about even with the ball so if the ball's right here the warrior is not going all the way out to the corner but is instead going to be one foot outside the lane line ready to explode to the corner if the ball goes there because right now this player still has responsibility for the low block with help here coming from X4. So those are just some, some general rules, and we'll get to more here in just a second. So we'll go on here to the next, the next slide. Okay, now when the ball is here, X2 is pressuring, and again, she's trying to make this a, a slow pass. We don't want this to be a bullet pass. We want the ball to move as slowly as possible. And everyone is moving on the flight of the pass, reading the eyes of the passer. That's really, really important. We want to be moving as the ball is leaving the fingertips of this player. We don't want to wait for it to be halfway there, then react. So as the ball goes to the corner, the warrior explodes, comes out and takes the ball, pressures the heck out of it. X2, the wing, can play halfway if she wants. If she wants to go trap, she can. But we want this, if four throws it back out to two, we want that to be slow. We don't want it to be on a line. Five, again, follow her rules, ball and basket. As the ball goes from the wing to the corner, the five is going to try and stay in front and front the post down here. The top player is now covering the high post where X5 left. X4, the backside wing, this is highlighted because she has options. Yeah, she can stay down here, but this pass from four to one, teams will try to do that. And if there's no one down here, this is a hard pass from four to to over here on this block. So I like this player to sneak up a little bit and try to pick that pass off. That four to one pass is one that I want X4 to either steal, get a deflection, or at least be there on the catch. So she just kind of has to cat and mouse that just a little bit. So there's that skip. As you can see, we're trying not to run in a straight line. We're trying to go out and up. Everyone else is rotating. X2 is gonna drop because X4 is up. X3 is coming over. She can either pressure this and trap this or, or, or play in the middle. X5 is still ball and basket. So those are the general, those are the basic slides of, of the defense. Um, now, we really like it when teams try and drive because normally, and you'll see a lot of this on the film, we have our warrior right here getting ready to explode out. X2 is covering the backside block. X5 is playing ball and basket. And there's our wing pressuring the ball, and X3 is playing in between to slow this down. A lot of times, these guards will just see this open lane and just drive. And that's kind of what we want them to do. X5 job is to step up and stop the ball. It's her job to plug this up. X3 and X4 collapse, take one quick swipe and try to get a steal, and then do something we call melt down and then back off again, taking away any 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 kick passes but we get a lot of turnovers on this right here because kids see this wide open lane they think it's open they attack we just converge on the ball real quick swiping at it and we get a lot of steals okay balls in the corner here and this is uh, when we're trapping in the corner when we are when our when our trap call is on you'll see how it changes a little bit so we have X4, the wing, and the warrior are trapping this. X5 is staying in front. 
X3, who normally when the ball is in the corner guards the high post, she's now taking away the pass out. And X2 rotates to the, to the ball side elbow. We have five players ball side. It's a very aggressive trap. Um, when, when this top player gets good at this position, uh, she can act like it's open, kind of bait this player into throwing it, and then get a steal and go score. Because remember, we want this player to be able to score in the open court. So that is our corner trap. We also have our trap, uh, like right when the ball crosses half court. So we want X5 to be high, ball and basket. The warrior can sneak out a little bit since the ball's way up here and try to get that pass from one to three. Uh, this is our top player and wing trapping this. Now, as you see X2, normally when you're running just base one, three, one, with this wing is up, this player is back. But if we're trapping this, the two places where this player is likely to throw it is to the corner, and we hope the warrior can get that, or X2 can cheat up and get that, di get that, get that cross court pass and go get a layup. Because we just don't think there's too many players that are making, if this is a good trap, making that diagonal and if they and if we give that up we'll live with it because we know that's the risk that we take when we're when we're trapping okay so let's get to some clips from the last two seasons so as you can see here here's our here's our base defense and these kids uh, some of them played multiple positions but here's our top player here's our wing pressuring the ball here's our warrior now she shouldn't be quite out that far but she's cheating a little bit our backside wing is covering this, and this is a player who usually played on the top of this defense, but we rotated her around because she was so versatile. We have her in the middle right now. Um, and you can see, I mean, she is really battling in there. And because we try to front this, a lot of teams will try and just throw over top. Well, that's really hard to do because we should have our warrior here, our backside wing, and our middle player is reading that, so we just get a steal. Okay, next possession, actually we're in transition. Now, the ball's here in the corner, the Warriors on the ball, the middle player, and this was a special kid here. Uh, she wasn't much of a scoring threat, uh, but she was hickory tough, and she loved playing this. Uh, this was her junior season, and after she graduated, um, in her little senior speech, she said the thing that she will miss the most about basketball is playing in the middle in 13. And, you know, she just found her role and was just great at it. And you'll see several clips of her just busting her butt. But here's our wing now making this a slow, pa a slow pass out. Top player has the elbow. Backside wing is kind of floating, which is fine. Taking that away. Good read by our top player. She goes and scores. Again, wing is, gar wing is on the ball. Top player. Warrior. We have the, we have our we have our star back in the middle. And we get a steal. Now that's one of the rules here that I didn't go over. Any time you see a player with your back like this, she has no idea what's coming. She's supposed to just go get that steal, and you see it right here. Okay, this was our normal alignment um, as far as personnel goes. Um, except, uh, yeah, we have one of our one of our kids is out right now. But so here's our here's our star. She was so good up top. There's that good middle player, warrior, and two wings. She's really pressuring the ball, making that a slow. Yep. See how the wing comes and backs off. Middle player is fronting. Really good. There's your skip. We're covering this stuff really well. Trying to keep the ball on one side of the floor. Try not to let it get reversed and we will live with that which is something that we should you know I kind of want to talk about because there's there's no defense alive that can take everything away uh, so basically it's a matter of what what can you live with um, <clears throat> excuse me the one three one is really really good at keeping the ball out of the paint um, most games even the games that we would lose we would normally score more in the paint than the opposition. And I'm a big believer in layups get you beat. And this is a good defense if you run it properly that you can, you can prevent teams from scoring inside. Um, but what can you live with as a coach? Because there's going to be times where teams will get open threes. Um, not always, but if you can't live with teams shooting a lot of threes with a hand in their face or rush threes and the occasional open three, then you can't run this because it is a risk-reward type of defense. And there's going to be times where the ball does get swung 
quickly a couple of times for a corner three, it's going to happen. And if you can't live with that, then don't run this or don't run it a lot. Um, I think it's worth the risk, especially if you have a good team that's really good at slowing the ball down and you can prevent that from happening all the time because I think you're going to get so many turnovers out of this that I think it can be worth it. Uh, But it basically just depends on what you can live with as a coach because we're always trying to get deflections and being aggressive. And if you play like that, sometimes you're going to give up things. Um, Another reason why our our kids loved this is that it gave us an identity. I mean, everyone knew it's like, hey, you're 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 getting ready to play us. We got to prepare for their one three one. And there's not a whole lot of offenses that you can run against this because a lot of regular zone offenses aren't as effective. So teams have to spend extra time to work just against us. Um, now I'll go into some some of the weaknesses again of this later. But let's get back to some of the to some of the clips. So this is a different game against a really good team. Uh, we were this is two of the best teams in the league two years ago. So again, wing pressure got to have that. Here's our warrior. Here's our top player. Moving the ball around. We're trying to we're trying to be aggressive. I'd like a little more pressure here, but we're pinning them in. Stop, war, uh, the middle player did a good job stopping it. Now a post player has the ball. We get to travel. Now this is good. I love when, when we can pressure this high up here. I, I'd like her to sneak up a little bit. We don't contain this. That's okay. She's playing really fast, which is what we want. We get a turnover. We've extended our 1-3-1 now. Getting back. Yep, everyone's flying around. As you can see, this is not a soft sit-back type of defense. At least that's not how I like to run it. Now, back this up. Uh, This was early in the season, and we got better at this, but I really don't want the ball to get reversed either via the pass or the dribble. And again, she was she's playing Division One basketball now, um, but you know, getting beat like that, we want to keep the ball on one side of the floor. We want to keep it over here. Don't let it go middle as much as possible. But we still get a steal, and this is why you want to have a playmaker playing on top because you're going to get that right there a lot. Now, watch this right here. Stunting is a big part of this. So watch this kid right here. Everyone's in pretty good position. Our warrior doing good. Middle player's taking that away. Top player's here. Here's our wing. And we really stressed, you know, stunting at the ball and then backing off. See how she picked her dribble up? I mean, that's, that's, that's really, really good. Drive, step up. Warrior's covering that. And again, they just have nowhere to go with the ball. Good. More more aggressive, get a steal, taken off. And it helps them you when you have athletes that can do that. That's just good coaching. <laughs> okay. Ball is in the corner. We have a trap on. We didn't do our trap call. They just decided to do that, so that's why this player wasn't taking that away. Keep it on that side of the floor. Really good. We're coming up and pressuring. Throws it away. Turnover. Okay, now here's an example of how not to do this. This was a very bad possession, different game here. As you can see, we have no pressure from the top or the wing. One of these kids needs to be pressuring. Normally, I like the wing to do it, um, but if this is a slower player, I'll sometimes have the top player pressure on this side. But as you can see, we now have this player is getting bullied a little bit, so we now have no pressure and we're not being fronted. So that's an easy pass. And we just throw it right back. She's actually a really good shooter. She had a bad game this game. But those are the threes that we don't want to give up. Uh, We're going to give up threes in this defense. We don't want it to be like that, to where it's literally unguarded. Okay, same game. Ball and basket. Middle player's doing well. Warrior takes that away. Again, don't want to give those up. That's why sometimes trapping the corners can be tough if you don't rotate. Now, here's an example of getting caught how I talked about earlier. As the middle player, she's trying to front, but she's in trouble right now. And this is really, this is a really, really important teaching point. So she's trying to front, but she's getting sealed instead. She's not all the way in front. She's actually getting sealed. So when that ball goes to the corner, this player in the white jersey already has the advantage because now the warrior has to go guard the corner. She takes off. And look at the position the post player is in. We're in trouble. So you can't get caught 
on the high side. And again, this is early in the season. She became one of the best ever at this position, but hey, it happens to everybody. Caught a break. Okay, this was a game against our big rival. And we, are, we have extended things out a little bit now. You can see we're playing it much more aggressively. We're really coming out hard, making them, making them play fast, which, which was really, really good for this team whenever we did this. Pressuring, pressuring. Really good. And these are the kind of shots that teams will end up taking. They just get frustrated and just throw something up. Recovering. Getting back into our base. Lob passes. We were, we're fine with that. Really good so far. I like this is a, this is so far a good possession for us. And she went, picked up her dribble. She's in she's in big trouble now. So our this player's reading eyes trying to get a steal. We end up tying it up. Excellent job. That doesn't hurt us. We're back into base. A little more active hands. Good pressure here. Warrior comes out. Middle player drops. Now, that one clip she got burned, but watch the reaction. Again, watch our middle player. This is something that you have to drill. And we never drilled this in breakdowns. We always drilled seven offensive players against five defenders, make it as tough as possible in practice. So on the flight of that pass, 33 is getting around that kid. She knows where she has to go. She gets the steal. Beautiful. New player on top now. We put our star back in the middle. So, again, pretty good pressure here. Drive middle, tough shot, we get a travel call. Um, and as you can see, uh, coach here, and that is me, uh, pretty happy about that call. <laughs> okay. Again, back up. We love the drive. That's no problem. Now let's talk about this real quick because this is something that, that can't hurt you. While we encourage teams to drive, and I would actually like her a little higher here, you want to stay on the hip because if you don't there's no one to cover that cross-court pass right there you want to make that pass difficult so you can see how she gets beat and she's too low and when you do that you will give up open threes all right pressure 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 and when this player starts backing up that is you know sort of like blood in the water as far as i'm concerned uh, when she starts backing up just keep coming keep coming Try and get a turnover. Again, we are we are trying to cause turnovers <clears throat> in this defense. Just missed our trap call there. But we're pressuring the heck out of it, and they don't know where to go with it. Turnover. Now we're extending out. And now sometimes when we're running our press, these kids should both be a little higher, but they had they were trying to counter that by putting those players here, so we just told them to stay. Pick the dribble up, lob passes. I like what I'm seeing. Pressuring. Those passes aren't going to hurt us. Drive middle. Great job by our middle player here. Let's watch that one again. Uh, that's a really good player, uh, but we, but she just got so frustrated because she wasn't getting the, the look that she wanted, and we don't really mind it. Now you see how she's staying closer to her. Middle player's a little higher. Stops, stop gaps that, and that's we'll take that all day. Offensive rebound, not what we want, but we stay in it. And we'll talk about rebounding here in just a second because there's some special rules for that as well. Uh, let's, this is a case, I believe, if you watch the Warrior, sometimes Warriors will have to deal with posts up. And you can see, you know, she's not very big, but she's down here absolutely battling. And we get an offensive foul call. I love that. Um, rebounding rules, and you can watch these clips again and see some of these. Everyone should have box out responsibilities except for one player, the top player on shots and you have to train your top player to do this every time the ball is shot you want the top player not to box anyone out but to sprint weak side and help this wing rebound so if she would shoot it from here we're trying to have box outs but she's got to get down here to help otherwise she might be battling two players so that's a very very important teaching point 
uh, same game, I believe. Now, this is a great example of one of our best athletes. She's laying back, laying back, laying back, and right when she gets there, she just charged her, and she just threw it right over that player's head, turnover. Really well done. Again, we're kind of we're kind of playing soft here. That's okay. We'll pick up. There she goes again. This is so well done. Um, I'd like for the middle player to take that pass up to the to that player away a little more. But this is what I talked about earlier about when we're running your trap, your high trap here. This player doesn't have to drop because most teams are going to try to make that pass. It's an over and back turnover. All right, we're kind of playing soft, kind of lull them a little bit. There's the middle drive. Doesn't hurt us. We're pressuring. Good. Nope, she came down to trap. That's why sometimes that can be a little risky. Now here's your rebounding rules. So shot goes up. This player needs to get down in here and help. And she does. Now we're pressuring, now we're in tight pressure again. And this is the, one of my favorite things about this defense is that you're going to cause turnovers. And when you do, you're in a position to go score, as you can see right here. Loses the handle, layup. Pressure the ball, try to keep it on one side. We don't do it. They get a reversal. That's okay. Now we have a new player in the middle. And she was very young, not a lot of experience with this. And you'll see a couple of clips how, again, if you don't have a strong spine, it makes it hard. So she just goes right. That should probably be a charge or something. She just splits two players and goes and scores. That's the middle player's job to stop that. Now here's another example of the middle player. Again, she got better at this the next season. But watch how, look, she's a, she's a post. Her job is to plug this, but she just runs right at an elite ball handler, and she just gets split, and we're in trouble. They score. you got to know your own ability. All right, same game. We're back with our regular rotation now. Again, we really frustrated that kid. That's their best score, and she, did, she was not happy with that. Pressuring high now, good. She's got to sprint back. You've got to be able to run and move in this defense. It's not a standstill defense. Great job by the middle player. We get a steal, and there's our run out again to our best player. Bucket and a foul. All right, different game and a different team. So this is uh, the team the following year. She was back in the middle. We had another player who was, who was a veteran of this, but the other three are pretty new. And you'll see the difference uh, in not, not just ability, but also sometimes effort. I mean, you've got to be able to work hard in this defense. There's a really nice steal. Um, middle player, this is what I was talking about. When you drive, middle player stops the ball. There's three players on the ball briefly, and we get a turnover. That's a good job. But you can see we're not quite as active with this team as we were the last one. Ball gets swung. But again, can you live with those types of shots? Because those are the, usually the shots that you're going to give up. Same game. Good job, middle player. Plugs it again. Really well done. So let's watch what happens here. All right, so following our rules, ball gets passed. It is this player's job to cover this, and she's staying up here. So she's kind of doing her job. I'd like her a little higher, um, but middle player and backside wing, we can't give that up. That's it either has to be this player, but most likely your top player has to cover that. And that's a really good player they threw it to, and then they draw a foul. Following her to one side, that's good. We have a trap on. But again, we give up that same pass. Can't do it. 
but we'll still take those shots. If those are the types of shots that we're going to give up, you know, as a coach, you're pretty happy with that. And there's that simple skip pass. So now let's watch again. This is this is kind of frustrating when you watch this kid here because when I when I tell the kids you can't rest on defense, you just can't. Um, so we have our big wing here, middle player, maybe a little lower, but she's okay. Middle or, or a top player, middle player's fine. She's the wing. This is the warrior, and she's the wing, and she's lost, and she's kind of jogging and walking, and that is a that's the one of the best players, if not the best player on the floor. She's going to play D2 basketball, and that's that's the kind of effort that gets you beat. And you can see, she again, she's just flat-footed, standing around. That's not going to work. Good job by the middle player plugging it. And again, that's how they were, that's how they were trying to attack us. So you can see, you know, personnel and anything you do matters. That team the previous season had, a, had seniors. They were really solid. And that's a great play here, great anticipation, which is what you need to have in this defense. So we drive, which is what we want, get plugged, great read, great play. Um, she was a player who played on that, on that really good team the previous season. Trying to slow the ball down, that's good. That pass doesn't hurt us. Better job taking that away. And again, you know, you can if you can't live with those shots every once in a while, you're gonna be in trouble. Okay, now we're back again to to the previous season. Um, and this is later in the year, and they were really starting to get good at this. Um, Pressuring from the from the warrior, really good. Taking everything away, like a little more pressure there from the wing. There you go. That's good. Throw it to the corner. Slow him down. Now you can see the difference with our top player. Uh, we had worked on this a lot in practice, and I and I loved this kid to death. And I just told her, I was like, you know, look, don't let those players. If they want to drive middle, let them drive middle. We're going to cover that. Don't get beat to the outside. And you can see her hustling over there, just taking that away. You are not going that way. And then right when that player's back is turned, here comes our wing. I mean, that's really good stuff. Um, her back is turned. She's coming. She's coming. We don't quite get that turnover, but that's that was that was really good. And then we, they take a terrible shot, and we get the rebound, and we're off. <laughs> Coming down, I like a little more pressure. A little more pressure from her is what, because right now she's doing what I call survey, and I'm always yelling at the kids, no survey, no survey, no survey. That means I don't want to have the guards being here just with no, they're not under duress at all, they're not uncomfortable at all. Don't want that. A little more pressure. Our Warriors pressuring, again, those quick threes, I'll, I'll take that shot. I'll take that shot all day. Even from good player, it's a hard shot. Great job right here. If teams are going to throw it there, that's why, you know, sometimes I like to mix things up with this, have them extend it out, throw it right there. They're in trouble. I think they call timeout here. Yeah. Great job. All right. Getting playing a little soft right now. Now we're going to bring it up. There's our, there's our ice. There's our, there's our, there's our, our ice trap call. Um, this player forgets to rotate up, but this is what I was talking about. When we trap this, normally this player's job is covering high post. Well, she's going there now, and she's going to take that pass away. That's really well done. They're in big trouble here, and turnover. This was the rematch against our rival. Big crowd was here for this. A um, lot of fun. This game was a lot of fun. Uh, we won this one really handily. They just we just frustrated them so much. Great job, great job riding her a little bit. Take that if that's what they want. I'll live with it. And we're off. We're really pressuring out now. I like I like when we're able to do this. Warrior covers it. We're working hard. Really good job here, really good job. You can see now what happened here, even though 
they miss this shot. Sometimes you'll see teams try and do this to your warrior. Okay, They're trying to post the warrior up and seal her, and then they run a player to the corner so that she's just got to get through that. And that's a decent look, but the warrior has to be able to get around that stuff. But again, you see how the uh, the positioning of the players leads for fra leads to fast breaks. We get it, throw it out, we're gone. As you can see, we're we're really doing a good job this game. Now that again, I love this kid too. She's a Division One field hockey player, but she just never did always grasp. This was her first year playing basketball in a couple of years, and I just couldn't get her to understand. You know, you got to pressure this ball can't just give anyone that. I mean, you know, we're going to give up threes in this defense, but, you know, you don't want to give that up. A little better there. Better pressure. Got bullied there. That's why you don't want to – that's why you want to try to front. That's a better job there in the middle. Swinging it over, that's good. A little bit more pressure, a little bit more. There we go. And that time we had the Warrior. Now see how she gets really extended out. That's probably the top player's responsibility. She should be back. But this Warrior here does a pretty good job of reading this and coming out and at least trying to get a hand up. Keep it on that side of the floor. Good. She's coming out to pressure. The wing is doing a good job pressuring here. Like to get in front of this if we can. We do. Good. Take that away. Drive middle. Nothing's there. Reach in. Get a steal. Really good. You see this happen so many times. Um, I'd like her higher, but kids see that, and they think there's just gold there, and they drive, then it's plugged up real quick, and we get a steal. All right. Pressure again. Come on up. Good, 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 good. And again, when you put your best athletes in these types of positions, this is the stuff you're going to get. Um, you ought, this is why you really want this player to be able to go score. And there was no one better at it than that kid. Another one. Okay, different game. Good trap. Again, we are always just trying to get deflections and causing as much havoc as we can. Trying to screen the wing, that's not going to do a whole lot. Get in those passing lanes. Uh, just something else you'll hear me tell a lot, you know, get in the passing lane. Great job here, steal, run out. And draw a foul. Great job. We're extending here a little bit now. I, I really like doing this. There's your deflection. Should have had a steal there, but we still get it. That's just good stuff. And one. Pressure from the wing. Warrior comes out. None of this stuff's going to hurt us. We're in good formation. Now that's a that's um, a really good example. Look at our top player again. Even 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 the best kids make mistakes, you know. So she's coming here. She's got to let her. If she wants to drive middle, our middle player is going to come up and plug this. But when she gets beat to the middle like this, that leaves this unguarded, and we have no one there to cover that. And they knock it down. Extending, extending, like it. This player hustles back, good. And look at this. I mean, the effort play, great effort play by this player right here. She, she gets an illegal screen. I mean, that's that's just against the rules right there. Uh, but she fights through it, dives for it, still falls on the ground. You know, the kids had really bought in to this. Uh, this is actually our tournament game. Um, Boy, this sure this this sure got me upset. Um, this is textbook, I think. We've extended our one three one, really pressuring them. She makes a pass to a player. Our warrior gets a clean block, and as you can see here, I'm 
I'm really not happy with that. <laughs> Keep it on one side, force it middle, really good, turnover. Trying to dribble through all that mess, it's just really hard to do. Come down, transition, bucket. Pressure from the wing. She's going to recover. She's going to recover. This is just an amazing effort play by this kid. Um, and you know that your kids are buying into what you want to do when they make plays like this. So we're extending. And she's pressuring. She gets, she gets beat and then does not give up on the play and then just makes a one-handed falling out of bounds. She knows where she's going to be, and there's no one stopping her. And one. Huge play. And last one I'm going to show here is the middle player. You got pressure, pressuring the ball, swing it over. Everyone thinks there's, there's gold here in the middle. And our middle player who took about maybe nine to ten charges this season, bang. They called her for travel, but she was on the floor so much it was crazy. So that's the, the base 1-3-1, or at least how we play it. Uh, we can extend this to almost a full court press version. I didn't really go into that. Um, there are multiple adjustments that you can make as far as, you know, what do you do when, you t when they have a great high post or low post player or if they have like a superstar players or things you can do. It's very, very flexible. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do out of this defense. It's something that I really believe in, um, particularly if you have the athletes to run it. I mean, if you've got a slow, small team, then I'm not sure what to tell you, but uh, maybe just pack in a 2-3 zone. But if you have some athleticism and some length, um, then it's, it's a really tough defense to score on. Um, so I'll put up some more stuff on the one three one later, but for now, that's just the base defense with a couple of traps.